what's going on what's going on welcome back to the channel and today we're doing two things i'm going to give you some information and show you a procedure on something that needs to be done and it needs to be done to big bertha maybe i call my truck big bertha um i'm gonna show you right now check it out hang tight all right i'm sure you guys and girls have seen this in a previous video this big crack in my windshield that goes from passenger to driver and driver to passenger is really really big all right so i mean hey i'm always talking about modifying things and getting things correctly so uh i think it's time to get it corrected and now and the reason i'm doing this video is because I learned something new about this whole crack windshield and getting it fixed. And I'm about to school you right now. So I end up getting my windshield damaged. Something flew up and hit my windshield and that crack went from being small within a day and the next day it just went all the way across. It's crazy. So I was like, okay, I called a place that I had went to previously, which I am going to um, very soon to get it fixed. And um, they gave me a quote. And I was like, okay. But then I got information that you can get it fixed through your insurance company. That is if you have uh, full coverage and uh, it's under uh, comprehensive. So... I was like, let me make a video because a lot of people, well, I didn't know it. So, I mean, hey, I'm thinking you guys maybe didn't know it. So I call the insurance company. So instead of me coming out of pocket for a certain amount, which was a lot, or should I say enough, I call the insurance company. And this is basically what they say. When you call your insurance company, they're going to specifically ask, is it um, uh, windshield damage? And of course, I told them, yes, it's windshield damage. Of course, they get the policy number. They asked about the vehicle. They asked you a bunch of questions. So you have to find a company um, that's with their program. And the program um, that they, uh, um, how can I put it, that they work with is called Lynx. So I believe it's spelled L-I-N-K-S. So if the place that you're going to get your um, windshield fixed, if they are part of that uh, program, then guess what? You're good to go. So this particular place that I'm going to, and I'm going to show you very soon because I'm heading there. Uh, they are part of it. So my insurance company at that point, they call the uh, company. And when they call the company, they put me on a three-way and they connected me with the company. And the company said, hey, listen, when would you like to come in? I mean, really just that simple. So now I'm going to take care of this issue with the windshield. That's it. So also with this video, what I want to do, I want to show you guys the process. And the reason why I want to show you the process is because of this. If you have a vehicle with heads up display, which you can see here, that's the miles per hour. Of course, I'm sitting still, so it's zero. And if you have any kind of, let me see if I can get this in here, any kind of lane assistance in your vehicle, which I do, and you can also see it in the mirror right there, then you probably will need a specific type of windshield so the young lady that I spoke to her name is uh, Sarah and uh, she asked these questions do you have heads up display and uh, I said yes do I have the lane assistance yes I do um, and then also too there's another thing um, there's this big doohickey that's up here that has to be replaced so Anyway, guess what? We're gonna head there and I'm gonna show you the procedure that they take and the name of the company, I'm located in Chicago. 
So uh, this place has four and a half stars. I have taken a vehicle there before and um, they did a very good job. And it was for a vehicle that was very old and they still found the windshield. So I'm taking Big Bertha. I don't know what I'm gonna name this vehicle for the channel, but it's big. It's a 2018 Yukon Denali. And it's bad, man. I mean, I love this car. Love it. Love it. Especially in the wintertime. And currently, I have 37,000 miles on the 2018 Yukon Denali. So, uh, hang tight and guess what? We're going to head there and we're going to watch this procedure. So, I already told you how it works with insurance, okay? And now, I'm going to show you how it is to replace it. So, hang tight and let's do it. And welcome to Choker TV. Modified. We gotta get approval. I'm gonna see if they're gonna let me film. Hopefully they will. Seems like a very nice lady. Here we go. wonder what that car doing a quarter mile if it gets down a quarter mile uh, being silly
So once again, I gotta say thank you to uh, the shop for uh, letting me even film, okay? Because technically, um, I'm not supposed to be in there. So, or in their way. And I try to stay out of their way, but as you can see, window came out or windshield came out uh, very easy because they're professionals, that's what they do. And now they're cleaning all of the caulk and everything off and then uh, they clean the new windshield and uh, very soon it'll be put in. So as soon as they put it in, I'll turn it back over to them and show you the process. All right, hang tight. And we're out of here. Very good service. Very, very good service. Mm. And just like that, from driver to passenger side passing the driver's side we're back new so big birth is modified 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 and now when i do my next videos you guys won't see that big old crack in my windshield and you understand the process i have to give a big shout out to uh sarah uh from uh pilsen uh auto glass for letting me do the video uh, as i stated before uh the policy sta states that uh you shouldn't be in the area but i informed them that first of all i wanted to inform other people about the process and also too what i realized doing these youtube videos is very 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 important very important to ask permission before you start filming so, and uh, most of the times, if you are a decent, nice person, guess what? There's no problem. And then also, too, I thought about this. For some reason, if I would have been filming in there and something would have happened where maybe I would have slipped and fell, guess what? That would have been on me. And I would have sucked it all up. So once again, thank you, Pilsen Auto Glass, for letting me film the process. Thank you, Sarah. She said she was a little shy, but that's all right. And uh, listen, you guys have a blessed and not stress day, please like and subscribe. And until the next one, later.